We've only just arrived, and already I am wonderfully overwhelmed. It seems fitting that we were welcomed aboard with a glass of champagne, because it truly feels as though we've embarked on a celebration. June the 5th. There has been a wonderful mistake. It seems the entire staff has been told that Jeffrey and I are dignitaries. The spa treatment this morning. The lavender bath Annalise, our sweet stewardess, drew me this afternoon. A veranda looking out onto the ocean. Perhaps someday I'll feel guilty that I haven't corrected this misunderstanding. But the staff is so genuinely passionate in their service, I hate to disappoint them. So for now, it will be my secret. Friday. We dined with our new friends in their veranda this evening. Then back to our place for drinks. Our place. It seems strange to write that, but that's exactly how this feels. We are completely at home here. Although I will say that home has never before offered us such breathtaking sunsets. Nine thirty a.m. The fountain of youth has discovered us. We danced under the stars last night. Yoga on deck this morning. This afternoon we may venture out on kayaks from the ship's marina, and tomorrow caviar in the surf. We are constantly surprised by the award-winning staff, and just as pleasantly surprised at ourselves. August 15th. If I weren't already very happily married, I would propose to Chef Cyril today. Every meal has been an absolute delight. But last night's dinner was a taste of heaven. observation. Just a day or two ago, we were strangers. Now the faces are becoming familiar to me. My fellow passengers, as well as the ship's staff, who, by the way, not only know my name, but my fondness for single malt scotch. Every day, this feels more like a gathering of friends and acquaintances rediscovering the world together. Midnight. I'm exhausted and exhilarated at the same time. The last few days have rewritten my history as a traveler. I realized that before I was merely a tourist, a sightseer. But now on this journey, each time I disembark, I feel like an explorer, discovering hidden ports and civilizations, seeing the world off the beaten path collecting memories that I can hardly wait to share.
Thursday afternoon. So much I still want to do. Just wanted to remind myself when I look back at this that I am having the time of my life. Seaborn. Six intimate ships with no more than 225 luxurious suites. Sailing unique itineraries around the world while earning the industry's most prestigious awards. Gourmet dining, fine wines and spirits are included. And tipping is neither required nor expected. It is our delight to serve you. So join us for what will be, unquestionably, the journey of a lifetime aboard the world's best small ship cruise line.